How are humans contributing to the destruction of biodiversity and the world we live in today? We are eliminating populations and species faster than we can discover new ones. We cut down thousands of acres of forest before we have had time to document or study what was there. We are polluting our environment and changing background environmental conditions faster than nature can respond. We worry about the loss of species usually once it is too late to economically and effectively do anything about it. All of these trends are currently contributing to a loss of biodiversity, the number and variety of organisms on the earth. The importance of biodiversity cannot be overstated. Most of the world's natural processes would go defunct if biodiversity was lost. For instance, if there were not different kinds of plants, herbivores, and carnivores, energy would not be transferred efficiently from producers to consumers, and the carbon cycle would collapse. Our food supply depends on biodiversity because we need a variety of species to harness enough energy in the form of biomass to support our population. Moreover, many of the medicines are derived from exotic plants. Our complex bodies and lifestyles cannot be supported if there were a limited number of species to draw resources from. Though biologists are still trying to determine the bare minimums of a working ecosystem, they have yet to rule out the functional importance of many species. In fact, according to the New York Times, only 1.75 million of the estimated 14 million species on Earth have even been documented. Some biologists are using a species-by-species -species approach to solve biodiversity loss. Increasingly, they are considering strategies such as assisted migration. They will physically pick threatened species out of degraded habitats and move them to where chances of survival are better. This trend shows that scientists are losing hope in protecting certain environments and are simply resorting to shifting species around. Because of the biological risk and efforts involved in species relocation, assisted migration has potential at a last resort, but it fails to address the root cause of the problem, habitat degradation. The more holistic and scientifically sound approach requires large-scale efforts to preserve natural habitats. Urban sprawl, disease, climate change, and logging represent a few of the many obstacles that must be overcome to put us on a path of environmental preservation and restoration. One of the main causes of habitat destruction pertains to agricultural land usage for the cultivation of crops that feed the growing population around the world. Forests are cleared to provide fertile agricultural grounds, and the cutting down of our forests is also used to satisfy lumber demands. Pollution, likewise, plays a major role in environmental destruction. Carbon dioxide emissions are one form of pollution that currently threatens many of the world's ecosystems. Climates are always shifting, but with today's global warming patterns, they are shifting faster than species can adapt. In 2004, an international team of scientists estimated that 15 to 37 percent of species would go extinct due to global warming. What type of threats does global warming pose on all species living on Earth? For example, certain types of threats are rising sea levels, drought and flash flooding, massive crop failures, rising air pollution levels, uncontrollable fires, and the extension of animals and plant species. Threats such as these must be under urgent consideration before global warming destroys life on Earth. The increase in severity of hurricanes and tropical storms is most attributable to the increase of CO2 emissions, which heats up the Earth's near-surface temperatures. 
According to Time magazine, the average surface temperature has increased by 0.6 degrees Celsius, or 1 degree Fahrenheit, over the last 100 years. According to scientific experts, by the year 2030, Glacier National Park will have no glaciers left. Due to human carelessness and ignorance, we have developed bad habits and lack of awareness. One way humans contribute to global warming is by deforestation. Carbon levels rise because of deforestation, which is a main cause of global warming. Species extinctions are occurring at a rate anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 times faster than the standard background extinction rate. Some scientists have even said we are in the middle of a mass extinction that could only lead to the demise of the human race. Still, this is not a problem that only scientists must grapple with. Public awareness of the issue and governmental intervention must be encouraged if a worldwide effort is to take effect.